Destructive winds that are expected to batter Perth are just a couple of hours away, bringing conditions we can expect to see only once or twice a year. Rachel Carey joins us live from Cottesloe Beach. And Rachel, you can see that storm is getting closer. Yes, you can, Libby. Don't be fooled by the sunshine, though. As you mentioned, the storm front is still a couple of hours away from reaching Perth. But as you can see around me, the winds are certainly picking up here along the coast in Cottesloe. But further south, between Bunbury and Warpole, they're already in the thick of it. Wind gusts exceeding 95 k's an hour have already been recorded at Cape Lewin. The Weather Bureau is uh, warning that this could be a windier than normal storm. In fact, they're warning it could be a once or twice in a year event. It's the second storm to hit Perth in as many days. You'll remember yesterday was very wet. In, fa in fact, there was flash flooding in some areas. The SES received 27 calls reporting damage to homes. The southern suburbs and the southwest were the worst affected. Today we're told to expect wind gusts that could exceed 125 k's an hour. To put that into perspective, a Category 1 tropical cyclone has wind gusts between 90 k's and 125 k's an hour. Today we could also expect flash flooding, hail and thunderstorms. Lucky us, Libby. Yeah, best to stay indoors. Thank you, Rachel.